Uh, the chairman mentioned that the economy is dynamic. <clears throat> that means the challenges are also dynamic. What we faced yesterday is being added with further more challenges that we're looking into it, and you just gave a few of them. Uh, we'll learn from each other. Let me give you a quick snapshot. Um, some of the issues that we're facing prior to the economic conditions that we're facing were the payment issues that we talked about. Some companies were facing difficulty getting their final accounts finished with the, with the clients. We're facing organization, unrealistic targets, facing getting the right workforce uh, to work for us. We're having issues with the old common terms and conditions in the contracts. Uh, it's, it's not matching with the recent uh, economic uh, situations, and we're looking at how to improve that. We're facing with issues relating to how variations are managed and handled by the clients and the consequences of these managements. And then we were facing also some concerns on companies' classifications and how best to regulate ourselves uh, in the industry. Some new stuff has come up as a result of the oil price being dropped. Uh, potential reduction in business that is there. We don't know uh, whether we will face further reduction in business, how the business is going to be like. Some of you may have contracts already in hand for 2016 and parts of 2017, but then what will come next is the question that we would like to see resolved for us. Uh, we might need to streamline our workforce that would have its own challenges as well, whether they are expatriates or money workforce, how to deal with that, how do we partner with the uh, government and the stakeholders to, to try to deal with these problems. Uh, credit limits. Uh, with banks and cash flow constraints might be another challenge that we will face going forward. Uh, cost increase, we've read in the papers, the subsidies on fuel will be removed, fees on some governments would be uh, further increased, etc. So these would have impact on existing project. Whether those would be compensated or not, it's a question that we need also to, to look at. And then all of these would definitely impact the whole supply chain uh, and how we are going to uh, work towards that and how we are going to resolve those issues. So this is a snapshot, try to get your mindset all together, thinking as we are discussing today and tomorrow. What we have done as OSC, uh, the chairman has given some ideas. We have proposed several issues with the stakeholders and particularly with the government. One of them being how to rectify the labor market. We've got some discrepancies we need to rectify so that we could work more effectively. We propose ideas and solutions regarding that. We propose a basket of solutions on how to deal with the workforce issues, uh, whether the organization targets are realistic, how to uh, alleviate the pressure on getting expected workforce, and so on. All of these have been presented to the government and we've debating since April. Uh, on these issues. Unfortunately, until now, we haven't yet come to a conclusion. We've reached as far as the ministry team agreeing that what we're saying is correct, but the final ink on paper hasn't yet come. So we are still working on it and we'll persist to continue on that. Uh, we propose solutions, again, to different stakeholders and to different government agencies on how to deal with the variation, variation management, best practices in contract management, etc. Uh, we have, like the chairman said, been given the privilege to participate uh, by the Ministry of Finance uh, in the uh, common terms and conditions of contracts. Uh, some companies joined, joined me in the, um, uh, in the uh, workshop, the first workshop that was done. The legal firm Denton is handling this and we are communicating with Denton and they are also going to be part of this event later on today. Um, we have already formulated companies' classification. Hopefully during 2016, we will try to uh, put it into action, get some companies to be classified, tested, and then launch it in a bigger way to everybody. We will continue to engage the government. We will not tire, we will not stop. Uh, it's a continuous process, it's a continuous dialogue. Uh, we need to work together, we need to collaborate with them. Uh, we need to understand their challenges as they need to understand ours and the only way we can move forward is through partnership and working together. 
We have developed programs in HSE and NHR certification. They are available. Uh, we've tested them. Our HSE program will be soon accredited by uh, uh, IOSH to be uh, an international accredited program. So uh, these are available. Uh, tomorrow in the afternoon, I'll be signing with uh, Raul the uh, agreement and MOU with PDO. PDO will be willing to help us to uh, develop our workforce, Somali workforce, in the areas that we see fit to develop our people. Uh, so they are taking proactive action with us to see how best they can help us in this, and that will be signed uh, tomorrow. Um, what do we need to do? I think we need to be more proactive as a sector, as companies, rather than being reactive. We shouldn't wait for others to tell us what we need to do. I think we should take an action forward and be more of a leader and propose our ideas and, 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 and concepts. We need to strengthen OEC as the representative body of the sector through membership and empower it to be able to present you better at the government uh, level and other stakeholders level. Uh, now, we, the, the, the way the system works in the, in the government, we are a, a nation of institutions, so we need to lobby, we need to move forward, and OEC can play this, this role quite effectively. Uh, we, will we need to continue our efforts to engage the stakeholders. We have to start producing smart solutions to resolve pressing challenges that we are facing today. Uh, propose smart suggestions to stimulate the economy. How best can we do that? What does the government need to do on their part as a partner to change in terms of regulation, laws, uh, systems and so on? to help stimulate, to help increase investments, whether it's internal, regional, or foreign. Uh, we need to work together as partners. We need to joint venture, maybe even merge, to address projects, much more challenging projects, locally or internationally. Uh, I think we have to do to open ourselves the door of the international market and not depend solely on the Oman market. We have earned, over the 45 years, experience in building very challenging projects in Oman, from airports to roads to bridges to you name it. So we've done quite a lot. There is a lot of good experience here around us. And I think if we put it all together and, and, and work together to open other markets outside, that might be a way forward. Uh, and we can work on that as well. Um, what is coming? Um, we have the annual general meeting. It's coming in March. There will be a new board election. Uh, so, those of you who are interested to be in the board of OEC, this the opportunity will come here uh, to elect and to nominate. Uh, you have to be a member, so those who are not, they are welcome to be members, and those who would like to renew the membership, they are welcome to do so for the purpose of the uh, board elections and to be part uh, of, the, of this organization. Uh, we are going to have more specialized workshops. We are working with other, other uh, uh, stakeholders, we are looking to work with Denton, for example. We will be soon having a workshop on how to deal with non-productive workforce. Uh, what is the legal parameter uh, acceptable by us? They will uh, give us a, a learning process on how to work on that. Uh, and so many other workshops, whether it's in HSC and so on, these are all in the pipeline and the plans to be implemented in 2016. Uh, the chairman has mentioned about the outstanding payments. Uh, I've been requested from the stakeholders for those who have issues in terms of finalization of accounts, payments, etc. Uh, please bring those forward to us. We will consolidate them, present them as package to the stakeholders to expedite payments in this uh, challenging time. Um, this health center idea is an idea that I, I think I would like to put it forward. Maybe you select a group of you guys with, with experience and trying to help other companies who are facing challenging, learn from experience from each other in these particular challenging uh, periods. So this is what we're looking to coming up in 2016 and we'll forward in it uh, and many other more. But just to summarize it, that would be it. So as I said, together we achieve more and uh, together we should work today to try to find solutions and way forward. Uh, we've got lots of good minds here sitting with us and I think we can tap those minds uh, going forward.